Okay, we're rolling. All right, this is an interview at the Del Mar Senior Place in Del Mar, New York, 22nd of March, 2006, approximately 9.30 a.m. Interviewers are Wayne Clark and Mike Russert. Could you give me your full name, date of birth, and place of birth, please? My name is Manuel G. Rodriguez. I was born in Puerto Rico. June 20th, 1931. When did you uh, come to the United States? I came in 1949. 49, okay. Um, what was your education prior to entering service? Uh, I had a... I didn't finish high school, but I, I get a... GED while I was in the service. Okay. All right. Um, did you you enlisted or were you drafted? No, I was drafted. Okay. And you were drafted into the army. Yes, sir. Uh, when did you enter the service? In 1953. All right. That was right after the Korean War, or was the no, war? No, before. Oh, okay. All right, where, were, uh, where were you inducted into the service? In New York City. All right. Whereabouts did you go for your basic training? I went to, uh, to Fort Dix in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And then I was transferred to, uh, to South Carolina for a couple of weeks. Okay. Do you remember... Fort Bounce in South Carolina? Was it Fort Jackson? Fort Jackson, yes. Okay. Did you have any training there at all? I had a couple of weeks training. Okay. Was it infantry training? Infantry. Basic yeah. training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where did you go from there? I went to uh, Fort Benning, Georgia. And what, what kind of training did you have there? In, in Fort Benny, I, um, I had infantry training and uh, they, they find, they realized that I wasn't, they, they find out that I wasn't combat, ready for combat duty, that I, my personality wasn't, you know, to, to, to go to combat. Mm -hmm. so what they did is they used me for, uh, Guard duty yes. and KP and regular, regular, you know. Mm -hmm. Did you go to jump school at all at Benning? No, sir. Okay. No, sir. I used to see them train, but I never participated. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they, after they, they used me to, they asked me to do a, a lot of guard duty, and uh, I used to talk to some of the guys I used. To that come from Korea, mm -hmm. guys that came physically disabled and hurt, and I used to talk to them about their problems, and mm -hmm. I used to pass that information to what their needs and what their future plans were. Now, did you spend your entire two years at Fort Benning? You at, at, yes. At that point? Just about. Okay. What were some of your uh, your other duties there? I was also a fireman. I huh? used to take I used to take care of the the barracks. Did you have did you have any other training at all or that's basically what that's what basically what it was because uh, they felt that I wasn't, you know, uh, that I wasn't uh, mentally or physically equipped to go to combat duty. Okay. You know, they felt that I wasn't, I wasn't uh, good f to go to fight. My personality wasn't that kind. Mm -hmm. okay. Did so you live in the barracks? And I live in the barracks. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Mm -hmm. What was it like? There, it was nice. Mm -hmm. 
It's very nice. Were there a lot of inspections and yes. that sort of thing? Yes, we had a lot of inspections, yes. Okay. Did you have to go out on a lot of maneuvers, training maneuvers and that? Not much of that, no. Okay. Basically you stayed in the company area? Yes, in the company area. Kept an eye on things? Taking, yes. Okay. What, can, what unit were you assigned to? I was... Uh, it was called the Combat Engineers. What um, did what kind of special did you receive any special engineering training at all or no sir none no sir mm -hmm. okay. Um, now, what was it like in the bear, in the in camp with the other soldiers and so on? Did you have any problems, or were there any? No, no, I didn't. Pretty, have any. It, was, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. What was the the, uh, the what were the officers and uh, NCOs and sergeants like? Were they good they were people? Good. They were good people. Yes. Okay. Was there any? Uh, Amusing things, funny things you remember happening? Uh, at one time I was in, I used to go to, because I, I sing, I used to sing, the, so I used to go to church. And uh, one day I talked to the, one Sunday I talked to the pastor, I said, Sir, how come there is no black people in here? <laughs> and he says, we have one. He says, we have one, and that was the porter. So <laughs> I, I said to him, this, this is the house of the Lord, you know. I'm from New York. I'm not used to that segregation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I said to him, what would you what would you say to God if He asked you, why don't we have any more called people in the church? Actually, it was it was racial. Mm -hmm. Is this a church that was off base? Yes. Oh, okay. It was off base. Uh huh. But you know, me being from New York, mm -hmm. I wasn't used to that segregation yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I asked the minister about that, and one su that Sunday after I after we did the service, I said to him. There's only one here, and he is the porter. So, what would you say to God if He asked you, "What about, what about my black people or my other people?" And He says, "Well, that's what the congregation is all about." And I, and I found that you know, I never went back to that after that. I never mm -hmm. went to this because I felt that I was, you know, I wasn't comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. Now, did you attend any church services on post? Yes. Now, were they uh, integrated there? N yes, because we were soldiers. Mm -hmm. you know. mm -hmm. Now, by that time, there there wasn't any segregation in the service. Everybody. N not not in the service. No. Right. Okay. Huh. Uh, another time, I was in town, and it was real. This was really funny, because I was in civilian clothes. And I, I went to, to the bar to have a few drinks. When I came out of the bar, I went to a call place. And the uh, policeman stopped me and says, uh, what did you go for? You go for, you go for, you know, it's, you're not supposed to go to, to a black place and a white place. And I says, well, I am a soldier. And I had a few drinks on me. And I says, besides, uh, he says to me, what do you actually go f to the color places or the white places? And I say, I go to both. Because I'm, you know, I'm not used to this. Uh, he says, well, you know, that's against the law. So I said to him, well, when I close my eyes, everybody's black. <laughs> And he found that amusing, so after that, he, 
we called the um, we called the, the the post and they they came and picked me up and took me back to the post because uh -huh. it was it was bad to get arrested there mm -hmm. in those days. What they would do if you get arrested in town, they would put you to do some farm work, and nobody nobody would know where you were uh -huh. unless unless a company commander would come and find find where you were. You were lost. Now, while you were in the service, were you able to get promoted at all, or were you a private or a corporal? I remain a private. I remain a private because because uh, they felt that I was like handicapped. Mm -hmm. So you know they just kept me there in the service, doing guard duty, doing this work around them. Yeah. And um, basically, they needed somebody to do the dirty work. Yeah, and yes. That, and well, that was, it was know. it was work that had to be done anyway. Yeah. Somebody had to to set up to put the fires up and keep keep the place warm and do guard duty. I used to do guard in the post, you know. Mm -hmm. You pulled a lot of KP. Oh too. yes, oh yes, guard duty and KP. That was a lot of it. Do you remember, were there any people that, uh, officers or other men that you remember that left an impression on you? No, not anyone in particular. Mm -hmm. Did you make any friends that... Uh, yes, I made some friends. Mm -hmm. Guys are aware, you know, in, in their service for me. Mm -hmm. And they talk about their, you know, their families and and their, their loneliness. Mm -hmm. A lot of that was, you know, lonely. I'm, I'm, I'm lonely away from home and... Or I'm worried about going to combat to Korea. Were there a lot of other soldiers there from Puerto Rico? No, not too many. No. Not too many. There was an incident one time we were coming from from Fort Jackson, and uh, when we get to to uh, Tennessee, they said. Black here and white here, because it was a restaurant that was, and this fellow come and says, and they, he was sitting with, with the white people, and he says, uh, you're not supposed to sit here, you're supposed to sit over there. He says, I'm not black, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was very funny. <laughs> Did you have any illnesses while you were in the service? I had a lot of backaches, I think, from <laughs> from tension. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, when you left the service, um, did you ever make use of the GI Bill? No, not much. Mm -hmm. What kind of work did you do after you left the service? I went to work in, I was working in textiles in Manhattan, and then I, I went to work in the post office. What did you do at the post office? I was doing uh, maintenance. Okay. Did you join any veterans organizations ever? No, I was, uh, I was going, I went to the um, disabled veterans office in New York mm -hmm. and they, they still have a case pending uh, disability from the army. Does it have to do with your back or? It have to do with my back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's from the pressure, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, did you, you never stayed in contact with anyone that was in service with you then? Not particularly, mm -hmm. no. Did I you ever get to see any USO shows while you were in the service? A couple, yes. I used to see mm -hmm. a couple of USOs. 
Did you ever see any of the big name entertainers or? No, not really. Mm -hmm. All right. How do you think your time, do you think your time in the service had an effect or changed your life at all? Yes. In what ways? I think it made me realize you know, how, how different life could be from one place to the other. Mm -hmm. Going from New York to a place at, at that time where segregation was a big thing, you know, I was, I felt that I, you know, it deprived me of part of my freedom. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't associate with the people that I wanted to, you know, I wasn't free to. to Mm -hmm. To, to uh, although my time there was short, but it affected me to see how how racism and and uh, and the segregation mm -hmm. affect that bothers me a lot. Yes. All right. All right. Well, thank you very much. Well, it's been my pleasure. <laughs>